opportunity to do stuff that Hank doesn't like. That to me is more important. I, I, it, if anything, I, I want to see the technique. Uh, I just I want to see that that you're exploring, that you're curious, that you're willing to get in, you know, to play around with uh, innovation. That's the kind of person that I would want to see. Somebody who can adapt uh, as it flows. And if you are a young person on the job market and you just graduated the program and you still haven't adapted to the fact that it's just only communication and self care out there, um, then maybe you haven't got quite the spirit for an organization like ours that, that wants to move pretty fast. Um, that where everything's urgent and flailing at arms. But I mean, look, uh, the fact that you have political opinions is perfectly natural. The twist, though, is that once you join the organization, I don't want anything an employee does to jeopardize our neutrality, our impartiality, at least it, how we project that. So then you have to, you know, use an alias, do what you want, um, but anything connected with the organization, just be mindful that we do have certain values that um, whether you internalize them or not, we just need to project. For example, most of us in the organization feel very strongly about human rights issues. But we're not a human rights organization. We can't start weighing in on who's right and you know, Palestinian and Israeli issues. We can't start getting into all of that because we'll get kicked out of Gaza, we'll get kicked out of Darfur, we'll get kicked out of, well, we already were mostly kicked out of Darfur, <laughs> um, because we were perceived as a human rights organization because we put out a report on rape. So these are these are some of the issues that we grapple with, and you know, the last thing we want is for any employee to inadvertently jeopardize operations. So it's just a question of respecting, okay, you were an 